Hello all, welcome back to another video with Discover Dunwoody. I am Mark Galvin, the uh, Director of Marketing here at Discover Dunwoody, and I am so happy to let you guys meet some new friends of ours. This We have with us Mrs. Karen Horde and Mrs. Janetta McIntyre. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. So glad you are here. They are with the Georgia Association of Ministers, Wives, and Ministers, Widows, that is, uh, the acronym for that is G-A-M-W-M-W, -M -W, and I do need to correct myself already here at the beginning of a video, uh, uh, Mrs. McIntyre is actually with the I-A-M-W-M-W, -M -W, so the International Association of Ministers' Wives and Ministers' Widows, and I can tell you all of you right now, the acronym I've been stumbling on, they just rattle it off. They know it so well because they've been practicing it for so many years. So pardon me if I continue to stumble with that. Let's jump into a little bit about who they are. So Mrs. Horde is with the Georgia Association and Mrs. McIntyre is with the International Association. So we're going to start with Mrs. McIntyre. It, I think that um, you've been with the organization for 34 years. Is that right? That's correct. And um, recently you were the president of the Georgia Association and now you're the past president of that association, but the, um, you were the vice president for the Southeast region. Tell me what that means. Okay. Well, our um, organization, and we like to call it a sisterhood, Sisterhood. A sisterhood. I like that a lot more than the acronym, <laughs> too. So pardon me if I refer to That's you guys okay. as the sisterhood. That's okay. Um, of ministers' wives and ministers' widows, our connection is that um, not just that we are married to ministers, but, um, but we also uh, connected in the spirit. Oh, nice. Spiritually, uh, we are connected. So the IAMWMW is um, the International Association of Ministers, Wives and Ministers, Widows that's been in existence for over 82 years. Oh my goodness. Um, our headquarters is in Virginia and our um, founder is Dr. Elizabeth Coles Bowie. And um, so each year we go to Virginia for Founders Day. And our current president, which is our ninth president of the sisterhood, is Dr. Margaret Brown Payton. And so last year I was elected as the vice president of the region um, for the International Association of Ministers, Wives and okay. Ministers, Widows, which encompasses seven states of the, uh, of the South um, area. Includes um, Georgia, of course, mm -hmm. um, uh, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee. And under the International Association, there's the region, the hierarchy is the International Association, and then you have a region, and we have uh, four regions okay. right now, and then we have the states, uh, which have a president, and Sister Karen Horde is the Georgia Association of Ministers' Wives president, and then you have the local chapter okay. um, that follows underneath. So hearing about all of these different levels makes me wonder, how many members do you have in, and I bet I'd love to hear the international side as well as in the Georgia uh, chapter. Well, I don't know the exact number, but there's several thousands of us. <laughs> and, and we so come from large. around the country, not only um, in the States, but we also have um, organizations in Bahamas, wow. Guyana, um, Puerto Rico. And so it's an international um, association. Oh, that's fantastic. I have so many questions, but I want to make sure that we introduce <laughs> Mrs. Horde before we, we move on. And you call her Sister Horde. Can I call her yes. Sister Karen? <laughs> it's you a, may. You may. may. Yes. I love that. All right. So okay. Sister Karen, yes. I would love to know a little bit about the Georgia uh, Association. And you've been a president for how long? Um, okay. Oh, just over a year now. Just over a year. Yes. How long have you been a member of the Georgia Association? I've been a member of the Georgia Association for 34 years. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yes. So you are an expert. Yes. <laughs> Tell us a little bit on why you wanted to be president. Okay. I wanted to be president in light of the outstanding work that our past president has done and also the presidents before her. And I worked in several offices um, as far as um, treasurer, assistant uh, recording secretary, um, 
other offices that um, during their tenure okay. and saw that there was a need for, you know, different attributes that I have. And so I decided that I would run for the president of the state of Georgia. And I've worked with most of the ladies within the state. We have um, 22 chapters across the state of Georgia from wow. Augusta and Albany um, to Milledgeville and Macon. And also um, in the metro Atlanta area, we have many um, local chapters. Okay. This is amazing to me. So yes. just in the state of Georgia, there's 22 chapters. Yes. So I can imagine, and I'm not going to do this, <laughs> but there are a lot of chapters yes. all over the country, yes. one I, and, and internationally at that too. There is a big, there's a need that you guys are fulfilling, yes. obviously. Um, what is the need, you know, why would someone join the organization? Well, one of the reasons is uh, that they become a part of the organization because as we say so often in our sisterhood, that it takes a minister's wife to teach a minister's wife how to be a minister's wife. So we take the opportunity to let the minister's wife know that they are not alone, that there are others who uh, experience similar situations in the church uh, and that we are here to provide that assistance to let them know that they are not alone. Oh, I think that's, that's fantastic. So I've been married over 30 years myself, and mm -hmm. I will tell you, my, the relationship that I have with my wife is one that, that is mutually supportive. In the realm of the work that ministers do, you are, uh, I would think that wives are directly supporting them in yeah. a very yes. public way. Yes. yes. Right? And I can see that be stressful at times. Yes. There's probably tactics that I would need to know if, well, that wives would need to know <laughs> if they were going to, maybe they're a new uh, That's minister's right. wife. That's right? right. So I could see young people, coming younger in. ladies coming in and wanting to be yes. involved. So how do I deal with these situations? Does right. that come up? Yes. <laughs> and I there's a uniqueness in being a minister's wife and whether you're the pastor's wife or the minister's wife, there is um, a lot of uh, visual sure. of, of, of you <laughs> while you're in the service and what have you. And I like to share that when I got married, I was 30 years old and we relocated here from Denver, Colorado and I joined the group in Colorado Okay. And then when I, we moved to Georgia, um, I became a member as well. So it was important to me as a young minister's wife to get that training and that uh, camaraderie with the sisterhood. And it, it proved so well because I was leaving my home to come to Georgia where I knew no one. Mm -hmm. And the sisterhood introduced me to some representatives here in Georgia. And I think that's the great thing about the organization because we've had um, sisters call from other states and want to know, um, my daughter, is, our son is coming to college in, in Georgia, in Atlanta, can you look out for them? Can you mm -hmm. take them to church? Can you tell, show them around? And that's the sisterhood. That's all about the sisterhood. So uh, I, I mentioned before we, we started taping that I've got kids um, and they're all they're living all over the country and one of the things that one of them said to me is they're trying to develop friendships <laughs> is that um, one of the things that is good for members of your organization they're moving into a new spot they need new relationships not only with themselves with mm -hmm. your membership but also with the children yes of the, uh, of the members. I think that's really beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is much more, uh, a much more deeper organization than just, here's how you can, you can serve your community, because that's really what you're doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do we serve our communities better? Um, it's more than that, it is, it's friendships, is what right, I hear. That's right. And it's a network of ministers, wives, and ministers, widows that we can call upon and share with and, and show them the ropes. Um, the new minister's <laughs> wives, you know, that are clueless when, you know, their husband is called into the ministry, whether they were called mm -hmm. before they were married or after, you know, there's right. some things that, you know, they need, may need to share. Right. And there's also 
the flip side of that, there can be stressful things that happen yes. in that space. And, and I could see the, the members wanting to be able to pick up the phone and call and say, hey, I'm dealing yes. with this unique situation. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right. Struggles here. How can I deal with this better? And I bet you guys have dealt with it. <laughs> Something tells me. Someone has. <laughs> Someone. Uh, I love that. So the motto of the group is faith, love, and prayer. Yes. And I love that because it's real short, real simple, but very descriptive. And then this year, the 2023 theme is a beloved sisterhood, women of virtue, vision, and victory. So when someone is coming into the organization and they see that as the theme for 2023, there's, and what I love about themes is it, it's framing the here and now. What's mm -hmm. going on? What are the hot points that we're seeing come up? Why is a beloved sisterhood, women of virtue, vision, and victory speak to, well, how does that speak to people today? Well, that, that theme speaks to, uh, to you know, ministers' wives, ministers' widows, and people in general um, because of, of who we are. We're right. women of virtue, meaning that we are persistent in our, our doing, but um, we do things um, decent and in order. Oh, I love that. Um, okay. we, we're women with, with vision. Sure. Um, because it is a, a, a religious organization. Of course, you know, God has given us a vision of how we can help another person, not just another minister's wife, but the community as a whole. Mm -hmm. And so when we get that vision, um, then we use the, the people within the sisterhood to uh, execute that vision. And then, of course, we have the victory. Um, in everything that we do, um, because it is a, a religious organization, we know that God is in charge. Mm -hmm. And we have the victory when we follow his orders. I love this. I was going to ask permission to say amen. <laughs> but Sister Karen said it already. But that is beautiful. And yes. I love how you framed that. And it would make me, if I was a, a candidate, I would be very interested in joining. Yes. So here's a question. Do you have to be a minister's wife to join? Or if I was a, a member of a church and I wanted, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not quite married yet to a potential minister, how early or when can people join? What do those limitations look like? You have to be married. <laughs> okay, check. To a minister um, or a pastor, but you know, we encourage. Or a widow. Or a widow, okay, yes, sure. of a minister. Um, you know, we know that even in the early stages, there are, you know, ministers in seminary and, and what have you that have wives. Right. But once they are actually married, they are more than welcome to come and join into our organization and be a part of the sisterhood. So if they're married to a minister that is in, that um, is not quite a minister yet, can they join? At that it, point, they have to be formally licensed. Okay. A well, licensed right. minister. So okay. if they have a license, but maybe they haven't been ordained yet, that okay, they are good. still eligible. All right. Yes. Fantastic. So one of the reasons that you're here uh, talking to Discover Dunwoody <laughs> is because you're ha holding your 44th annual Southeast Region Ministers, Wives, and Widows at the Atlanta Marriott Hotel Perimeter Center. Mm -hmm. And that's on February the 23rd through the 25th. Yes. I, at this point, I think this is a silly question, but I still want to ask it. What's the purpose of the meeting? What do you do? I think Sister we kind of bubbled a lot of this up, but still, is there anything Sister else? Sister McIntyre, I'll let you have that <laughs> one. <laughs> this is an opportunity where women from, again, from those seven states that I mentioned, we come together and fellowship. We come together and, um, and it just in, increase our friendship. We come together to support one another. It's an opportunity where we've developed friends from all these different places and catch up on, you know, what have you been up to? What's going on in your church? What's going on in your community? And we learn from each other. Sure. And so we don't have to reinvent the wheel. And so if you are doing this, um, having this in your church or your community, that's an idea to bring it to, bring it to Georgia, in my church, in my community. And so it's an opportunity where we can get together and just be there for one another and fellowship. Sure. It's about fellowship, fun, and um, just having a ball. So I love this because you can see the thing that bubbles up the most in these meetings is that fellowship. Yes. You two have a relationship that's starting to bubble up here in this, in this <laughs> conversation. 
And and I could see that magnified yes. when you have everybody in the same room or in the same space. How many people will be at this year's conference? We're expecting um, anywhere from 150 to 250. Oh, that's a good number. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yes. So do you have any fun memories from past conferences that you can share with us? I have one that um, I can't remember where we were, but we um, all got in our car and my husband was with us and I think there were probably either six, seven, eight of us all piled into the car <laughs> and we were going to find something to eat. Okay. <laughs> and we were all stuffed in the car. I mean, I don't even know how we were stuffed in there, but that's the kind of fellowship that we have is, say, you know, it's you like, your friends now. <laughs> you want to eat? <laughs> I want to eat. Let's all get in the car and we'll find some way to work. Eat. We were out of, you know, out of state, I believe. But, you know, that's what you do. You just grab your sister and say, you know, it's Let's time go. to go get something to eat or it's time to go shopping or, you know, something of that nature. And these are women that, you know, you may not have seen since the previous year. Right and you've built that fellowship with them and it just enjoy each other that way. So, uh, it, can I assume that the vehicle you were in was not a van? <laughs> it was not a van. <laughs> it was probably five passengers at the <laughs> most and there were at least eight of us I in bet there. I there was a lot of laughing going yes, on Yes, hysterically, hopefully, hysterically. Hopefully dinner wasn't 30 minutes away. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> And we weren't any bigger when we came back, fortunately. So we were oh, still able nice. to pile back in there and get back to the hotel. So Well, I think that's absolutely terrific. If somebody wanted to join the organization or find out more, where would someone go? All right. At the Georgia Association, we do have a website, which is www.gamwmw.com. And we also have a Facebook page that you can find under Georgia Association of Ministers' Wives and Ministers' Widows. And we try to keep those pages updated so that you'll know what events are coming up. Um, you'll know if there's, for instance, we have some sisters that have graduated from college and um, we have a sister that was part of the Savannah, uh, what is it, Martin Luther King Day. Those type mm -hmm. of things we put out there. If you have an accomplishment or something special that's going on in your church or in your community, we share those things on okay. our website and on Facebook. Oh, that's fantastic. How can somebody find you on Facebook since you mentioned that? It is under Georgia Association of Ministers, Wives and Ministers, Widows. Oh, that's great. Um, so, uh, Elder, gentlemen, <laughs> I promised to call you that through the interview this first time I've done that. Tell us a little, about, a little bit about the international side. Is, does it have its own website as well? Yes, um, you can reach uh, the international at iamwmw.org um, and you will see um, information about um, the international our president. Um, again, we are, this is our ninth president of the uh, organization and four of them, is it four, are still living. Are still. Oh my goodness. And, yes. Wow. And uh, we were fortunate and blessed to have the international president right here from Georgia, Macon, Georgia, Dr. Beverly Williams Glover, was our international president for eight years. Wow. And, um, and so currently, Dr. Margaret Brown Payton is our president, and she's from Virginia. Wow. And so you can reach us uh, through that uh, website. Well, I am so glad that you guys are here with us today. Um, I've had a lot of fun talking with them. I hope you've enjoyed watching this, this interview. And, and I would hope that any of you out there that are looking for an organization like this, that you would reach out to them. If you are a, the wife of, of a minister, and maybe, and this is probably what could have happened, there could be somebody out there who thought, you know, should I join this organization? I'm not so sure, because I'm sure they've heard of you. Mm -hmm. It looks like, to me, you ought to join. So <laughs> join, a, if you're in Georgia, you should come check them out and, and come see them on February the 23rd or 25th. And if you're coming, to see us here and discover Dunwoody, or Dunwoody that is. Uh, we're so happy that you'll be visiting with us. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you, Mark. Us. It was thank so you much for fun having us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. And for all of you watching, thank you for tuning in. We so appreciate you. Again, I'm Mark Galvin. This show is produced by Discover Dunwoody. Our producer is Madison Holtz. Our director of sound is Emily Insort Gibson. And on behalf of the entire Discover Dunwoody team, 
Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media sites using the handle Discover Dunwoody. And until next time, make sure you enjoy your day and come Discover Dunwoody.